with me, I've got Derry Matthews, the head of his WBA World Title Challenge. How are we doing, Derry? All good, mate. Everything's good. Um, plan, you know, the, the training programme, what we're doing is spot on. I'm happy. The coach is happy and, you know, just waiting for fight night now. It's just all about putting all the hard graft in, making sure everything's, everything's done properly. Right to my conditioning, my food, my fluid intake, my running, my sparring, everything. No stone unturned. Everything's got to be done spot on. I'm fighting the best fighter in the world and, you know, I've got to prepare the best I can. I mean, how do you think Richard Richard Abrell compares to some of the other world champions? The likes of Terence Crawford, Mickey Bay. How does how does he compare to them? No, listen, he's a he's a world champion and he's world champion for a reason. You know, he's, he's a Cuban, a world class Cuban. But I know I can beat him. If not, I wouldn't have took the fight. I know deep down, I know I can beat him. And you know, I think you know maybe some of the British public doubt me, but come fight night, I think you know a lot of them will be patting me on the back, and I'm expecting a big response off them because I know I'm going to be taking over and I'm going to be WBA lightweight champion of the world. I mean, the unfortunate circumstances with, with which this shot came up with Anthony Qualler's unfortunate injury outside of the ring. Do you have some sympathy for Anthony Qualler? Of course, listen, you, you wouldn't dream that on anyone. You wouldn't wish that on anyone, I should say. And, you know, Anthony's a good lad. He's a good lad outside of boxing. You know, he's, he, that's the stuff he does. And, you know, I spoke to Joe Gallagher this week and, you know, I wished him all, all the luck in the world. And, and I've said it from day one, if, if you know, if things go right, on Master Six, and everything goes right. Anthony comes back to fight. I'll give Anthony, I'll give Anthony a shot at the world title. And not just, you know, I'm a, I'm a genuine fighter, and I, and I know the fans would want to fight. I, I think, you know, it's 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 a fight that we'd all want, and I'd want it. The Manchester crowds are wanting. I think the Britons want it. I mean, how much of Richard Abel have you watched leading up to this camp and during the camp? We're studying him hard. Danny, Danny's the man. You know, he goes away. He does the tactics and. He's also showed them to, to my manager, Daniel Kinner. I knew, you know, he's got a good boxing knowledge, he's, he's got a good boxing brain, he's been around the game a long time and the two of them are studying him, studying him hard and, you know, even people at Frank's team are studying him for me and, you know, I, I'll just listen to what, what, what instructions you get and Danny's got the right sparring partners coming over for me and, you know, every, everything's going right, everything's going smooth, the stuff I'm doing in the gym, the tactics and all them, you know, fight nights, I think I can, I, I can see it all paying off and, you know, if not, it's down to myself not turning up but, now I know deep down, I'm fighting in my own crowd, in front of my own crowd, in my own city, that I'm going to turn up and I'm going to be world champion. I mean, you've gone through every level from the amateurs to the British scene to the European scene to finally get your world world shot. How confident are you that you can grasp this with both hands? I, I, know, I know I can do it. If not, I wouldn't I wouldn't have let Frank waste a lot of money on bringing Abel over and I wouldn't have let my managers, you know, work hard to get me to fight. Or, or, you know, I wouldn't be in boxing. You're in boxing to fight the best and I'm fighting the best in the world. And he, but the best thing about it is coming to Liverpool, he's coming to my own city. You know, and people might have hit me off before in, in, in time, but, you know, this time, you know, they are writing me off again, but I, I know I can win the fight. If not, I just keep saying and keep going on to people. I would not have took the fight. I know deep down I'm going to beat Richard Abel. You've got to give credit to Frank Warren and your manager for getting Richard Abel in the UK because we've seen so many fighters that have had to go on the road to get their shot. How grateful are you of that? I'm, I'm over the moon and, you know, I can only thank, thank Frank and, and, and thank, thank everyone, you know, at the, at Box Nation as well for making it happen, and all Frank's team, and you know, and my manager who who's, who's works up terribly hard for me. You know, I've had three fights since I've been here, and this is my third one. I'm fighting for the world title. You know, that's got it. It hasn't really sunk in like to, to the people outside the boxing. I, I won the British title. I went on to win the WBA Continental, and now I'm fighting for the for the world title. I've been with Daniel for three fights now, and you know, so it's paying off. It was a great decision to go with him, and you know, and I can only I can't thank him enough. I mean, you're out here full-time based for your camp, Danny Vaughan training. You've also got the likes of Peter McDonough, Isaac Chamberlain, um, the big Viking. You've got loads of loads of competitive boxers and great sparring here within the camp. So how helpful has that been for you? We've just got Tom Stalker as well, teamed up with Danny. Now, obviously, Seamus she has took the business side of, of, of Macklin's gym, of, of the promotion stuff and all that. So we've now got you know Tom, Tom on board with me on the track. We're pushing each other in the gym, pushing each other and... You know, I think you're going to see a different fighter than Tom Stalker. And, you know, it's good in the gym, good atmosphere. Me and Tom are training partners. We do everything together. And, you know, fight night, you know, Danny will have two, two winners and, and two successful, all a successful night for, for everyone. I mean, you was offered to stay on your own, away from everyone else. You've chosen to stay in camp with, you're living with Peter McDonough, Baby Butch. Who, who else is staying in your, in your premises? I've got Butch, um, Peter McDonough, Big Simo, Big Dafty. Joe Selkirk's just come over to camp, but... I've got the double bed, they're, in all, they're all sharing single beds and I'm, I'm in the main room, so, you know, but it's, I, I like to be around people who, who, are, who are liking camp. Peter McDonough is, is a prime example, you, you know, he's a character, you've got to have him involved in, in the camp, whether it's sparring or doing, doing other stuff, it's just, it's good to have there and, 
you know, we're, we're very lucky to have we've got a good team and got everyone involved. So I just saw some giant melt in a in a uh, nemesis puffer jacket walking by. Sorry, sorry, Derek. Is that a fake, that Goog? Is that a, that's got to be a fake. Oh, Joe Sel Joe Selkirk's wearing them now. <laughs> yeah, that's what you keep saying. <laughs> Listen, I can't thank you for giving me a bit of time today. You said it's a massive opportunity for yourself, and I know you're, you're going to go out and grab it, and I know how much it, it really means to you, Derry, you know? Yeah, I am. Well, listen, it, it's, it's life-changing. I mean, everyone's going, oh, you're fighting for the world title, but I don't want to just be known for fighting for the world title. I want to be known for being a world champion, fighting for the world title in my own city. I've got to go and win it. That, the hard part's done. I mean, all the easy part's done, making the fight. The hard part, getting in there and ripping it with both hands and... You know, fight night, nothing's going to stop me. I've got a good crowd behind me. It's going to be a sellout to Echo Arena. And, you know, I just can't wait to, you know, to put a smile on, on myself and my family's face. I mean, it's an absolutely massive card. Double world title fight with Paul Butler taking on Zalante Tite as well. Great card to be involved with. And for, as I said, for the chance to win a world title in front of your home crowd, it doesn't get much bigger than this, does it? It doesn't get much bigger than, you know, two world title fights on one night. You've got Satchel fighting for the European. You've got my little mate Jazza fighting for the British title. And what doesn't does it come better than that? You've got Beefy fighting for the great title fight. You know you've got and then you've got Cattle, who, who I think is going to be he's one for the future. He's a massive going to be a massive massive talent. Then you've got Stalker on his return. It's a you know it's a great it's a great card to be involved in, and and it's a Friday night as well. It's a Friday fight night. We haven't done them for a long time in Liverpool. So I was going to bring it up. It's a bit weird fighting on a Friday. What's your take on it? Do you enjoy fighting on a Friday? I, I'm, I'm, to be honest, I'm, I'm happy. I'm buzzing because the week goes quicker then. You know what I mean? And then you've got a longer weekend to party and celebrate. So, you know, it, 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 I'm made up. It's a Friday, weighing on a Thursday instead of a Friday, which is, you know, everyone's going, oh, it's, it's, it's a mad setup. But, you know, I'm just, I'm just, I'm buzzing with it, to be honest. 6th of March, Liverpool may have a new world champion. We thank you for talking to the Cassis and Helder show. Best of luck hold with on. your camera. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Right, what about what? what is it? Tag team, right? I yeah. don't have a lot of the sound of this. Simo versus you two. In what? Whatever you want. Wrestling. <laughs> Turn around. Wrestling. What do you want? Can I just say something? Simo shouldn't be here. He should be cleaning the apartment. It's oh! It's it. It's it. oh, <laughs> wait, wait a minute. What's the time? Simo's due a FaceTime call with his dogs any minute, isn't he? <laughs> Cassius and Helder with Derry Matthews, Stephen Simmons. Thank you very much. We'll see you soon.